You're listening to Colonel Holler, episode six. Oh, dear listeners, parting is such sweet sorrow. But this is the last installment on this year's trip to Colonel Holler. As I sit here in my evening robes, vaping on my enchanted vape pen, I am pondering what it means to come to an end. At the end of the 1939 classic film, The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, who has endured trials and triumphed over a wicked witch, finally gets to go home, where the plain but familiar faces of her loved ones hold unspeakable beauty. In real life, after a tumultuous event, we often experience the same feeling that propelled Dorothy through her quest. That longing for home and a true return to the way things were. We learn, though, that we can never go back home. For trials bring with them a new status quo. Home always looks different to the returning hero, but home has not changed. Our hero has. In this final episode of Season 1 of Curdle Holler, we see the very town under attack and the afterlives of many threatened. Will Chip and Bonita ever get to go home again? And just where is their home? Join us for episode six, when one door closes. The results are coming in, Albert. They're going to call the election any minute now. The anticipation is unbearable. My pulse quickens with dreams of prosperity for all of Curdle Holler. Whatever happens, you've run a great campaign, Albert. And there's a good chance you're going to win this thing. You saw what happened at the stadium. You all gave a dynamite and very informative presentation on Batsinger's corruption. Hey, if you win, it's because those people like you. Uh, not because two maniacs reeking of sewer started yelling at them. That's right, Albert. Even I, Chip Clearly, looked like a ragamuffin. Your issues got them to the polls. Why, thank you. I'm feeling more popular. But I thought more people would come to my election party at the library. Especially since I reserved meeting room C, which has a television. Well, I guess they're just not the library type, Albert. Oh, I can't wait for these results. I just know we're gonna win. So how awesome is your victory speech, Albert? Well, I'd like to remind my constituents that this campaign was focused on the issues, which I will then take a moment to enumerate in some detail. First issue, mm-hmm. as we've been mm-hmm. over a repeated uh, okay. number of yep. times, yep. Wrap, wrap and I'll right. give you some okay. more numbers okay, wrap it up. Time. Ah, they're announcing the winner! Tonight's bone coming game took an unexpected turn with two sewer monsters, identified as Chip Clarely and Bonita Von Wingenkamp, emerged on the field as if crawling from an open grave. Woo! Team Boutique! The grody pair then proceeded to expose a bribery scandal involving incumbent caretaker Belfry Batsinger and the town's dwindling power supply. We sure did. That's right! Woo! Berserk with anger and civic duty, the crowd poured out in droves to voice their frustration at the polls and... Wait a minute. The results are in! It's happening! Oh, dear. In a shocking upset, Albert Ghost is Colonel Holler's new caretaker! Yeah! Hey! Yeah, all right, Albert! Oh, I can't believe it! I'm overcome with feelings. We go now to former caretaker, Belfry Batsinger, for comment on this development. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans, I say. We can't have people popping out of football fields and tarnishing the name of dedicated public servants. This time we'll pay. Colonel Holla does not exist without Belfry Batsinger. I, Sheriff Bones Malone, will personally recount every vote to make sure Belfry wins. And that's totally legal, because, uh, uh... Well, uh, no more questions. This town will pay. Boo! We spoke with Albert Ghost earlier, but it was pretty boring. So here's footage of him eating some irregular candy corn. I enumerated all the issues. We'll see the new caretaker during tonight's unveiling ceremony, which must occur exactly at midnight and not a moment before. Albert will also use that time to outline a new policy agenda, so 
Bring a pillow, but then get ready for Halloween. As always, we'll have one evening to walk the earth and scare up all the fright power we can. Our existence depends on it. It was nice knowing you. This is Colonel Holler News. Okay, let's call some friends, get some better snacks, and somebody hold my shoes, because meeting room C is about to get trashed. Yeah! Woo! All right! Ah! Yay! Yay! Oh, that's I do like this peppy tune. Come on, Albert. Let's cuddle back. Now, library policy clearly stays. Yay! Oh, Take a look at that crowd. So many photos. And this is a terrible angle. But we are on a stage. This place finally feels like home. That's right, thanks to Pumpkin. Pumpkin, how did you get up here? Oh my hand. Sir Rochester, is that our mysterious door to the world of the living? Indeed. Beneath that faded Star Wars blanket, an ancient portal connects our town to the land of breath and blood. At the stroke of midnight, we shall gaze upon it and walk through with all the terror we can muster. I can't wait to find that mall cop who gave me those parking tickets. Listen, the ceremony is starting. Hello, Colonel Holler. It's Halloween Eve. Halloween! Halloween! Please welcome your new caretaker, Albert Ghost! Thank you, Mimi. And thank you, Colonel Holler. As you may know, this campaign was always about the issues. I will now discuss the infrastructure issue in some detail. Uh, he's not scary. Speed it up, Albert. You're losing them. At the stroke of midnight, we'll enter the portal in alphabetical order. Please record and rate your scares as an integer. <laughs> oh, this is hard to watch. Should we help him out? I've calculated median scare quality based on a low deviation propensity model. Raise them, Albert. Inspire them or lose them forever. Uh, <clears throat> my friends, we have a chance to turn things around. But everything depends on what we do tonight. The mortals are out there, so let's give them something to fear. Ah, yay! Oh. Well, I just got chills. Let's start the clock. It's Bansinger! Hold, hold your horses. This is a job for the actual caretaker. You stole our freight power, you monster! It's too scary. Is that any way to treat you all better? This job requires hard decisions, and none of you weak-willed devils are up to the task. Only I understand what it means to be caretaker. Mr. Batsinger, I implore you to step away from the portal. Let's have a constructive dialogue. You're a fool, Albert. This job is not about facts and figures and doing what's best. It's about charisma and power and guts. That's what it takes to survive, even after death. Uh, Belfry, uh, we scared him real good now. Get on back, leave that old 
portal alone now. This is my town, Sheriff. And if I can't have it, I will destroy it. I will lift this veil as I have done for centuries. Colonel Holla, here is your portal to Earth. Oh, that sounded bad. This is terrible. The unveiling was premature. Now the whole town will be drawn into the portal. Oh, and just in case you want to try and fix all this mess, I'll let loose that big old monster from the jail. He's plenty mad, and uh, he's gonna come visit for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, it was a tough first day. Whoa, those news reporters got sucked right into the portal. Now how will people know that I'm a hero? Hey, weird question. Uh, what if we did go through the portal? I miss my life. I miss my clothes. It's madness. The portal is compromised. Into now, you'll become something hideous and unrecognizable, a parody of your true self. It's a fate worse than death. Okay, that's a no, everybody. Oh, it's getting stronger. Pump you will fix it. How so, little buddy? I had to think about it. Is everyone all right? Did anyone suffer blunt trauma or failing that, psychological trauma? Put me down for the second one. Me too. I'm going to speak to my constituents and ask for cooperation. Constituents, let us read from the crisis management handbook. Oh, say bye to your microphone. Well, I lost my messenger bag. Oops. It's also dangerous and terrifying. Oh, look, it's Chip Clearly. Hi, Chip. Come and see us whenever you're free. I've made contact with Minerva. We're organizing a command center to plot our salvation. Everybody, look! The Fright Crystal is leaning! I could almost push it back. I'm just not quite strong enough. Oh, please, Chip. I was the one who won the push-up contest at work. You practiced in secret for a year, like a maniac. All right, gang. It's settled. We'll convene at the library and make our plans there. Excellent work, Rochester. Let us spread the word and meet at the library in ten minutes. Sounds good. Hey, is that Casey and Terry from Bad Behavior? Woo, we are renegades from the storm! Uh, yeah, that's them. Casey, Terry, what are you doing out here? Lady, you are not dressed for the coming storm! Okay, Terry, that's great. Thank you. Casey, same question. We heard Marco's in jail for petty crimes. We're gonna bust them out. Okay, young people, let Uncle Chip break it down for you. Something bogus went down and it's no longer groovy to go outside. Can you dig that? Duh, we're taking advantage of all the chaos. Catch up, Chip. Yeah, catch up, Chip. Come with us to the library. You can read about serial killers or something. You're not listening to me. We gotta go find Marco. All right, fine. But head straight to the prison and stay there. Uh, you can take that however you want. Whatever. We'll see what we do. Okay, Rochester, we're coming. Seriously, guys, go straight there. And if you see anybody, send them our way. Whatever. We're gonna let the wind carry us now. Bye. Whoa. Okay, cool. We're like right by the jail now. Oh my god, he's humongous! Come on, you big old monster! You want a piece? Hey, he's that monster from jail. Hey, monster! Have you seen Marco? He's a super hot guy! Cell Block D! He said Cell Block D! That's where they keep all the hot news! Thanks, monster! You're cool. Hey, you got a question for us? Who's in charge? There's people going to the library to read them old storybooks. Go ask them. Just look for that old butler, a trashy lady, and some floating hair. Thank you. I like him. I think we got a lot of income.
I gotta go to the bathroom. Endurance, Pumpkin. We're almost at the library. Let's just turn this corner expecting nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, it's the monster! Oh, what is that thing? His name is Rocky. He's three stories tall and five million pounds of stone in fury. They arrested him last winter for some terrible crimes. Not true! Well, Rochester, you really hit a sore spot. Yes, this will be an acceptable way to die. Again. Hey, are you gonna eat us? Cause that would totally be my luck. No, just mad! Anger is but a symptom of sadness. What troubles you, my friend? Everyone think I'm mean and scary. But Rocky want peace and friendship. But you were in jail! Falsely accused. On Earth, people think Rocky bad, but Rocky would not hurt. Well, go on and tell us about it then, Rocky. We have time. Do we? Yes, we have time. Big avalanche. Rocky come down mountain and see hurting and blood. But Rocky innocent, I cry. I see no crushed bodies or toppled structures. Perhaps there's truth in his story. Hey, it's okay, big guy. You know, lately, I'm not a fan of first impressions either. Hey, eyes up here. Rocky, I'm Chip, clearly. And I, too, was falsely accused, then locked away in the very same prison. What for? A spoon, but that's not important. What's important is, we believe you. You only say that because you're scared. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, but hey, look, you're on the team if you want to help out. Rocky very helpful. Then why don't you come with us to the library? We're all friends and books are our friends. Aw, do you like books, Rocky? Favorite book is How to Draw Airplanes. That is a good book. We'll find a job for you that's meaningful and validating. Please, everyone, take your seats. We'll discuss our perils in a moment. While we are waiting, Chip clearly will read from the attendance sheet. Thank you, Albert. First, we've got Rochester and Minerva setting up the presentation, which I'm very excited about. Cast this wretched computer. We also have Count Fangula, Quit. the Weaving Circle, Hi, Chip, Pastor clearly. Munch, Pumpkin, Mimi, and Albert Ghost, our new caretaker. You did it, Albert. Congratulations. Oh, that's so weird, Chip. That's okay. I appreciate it. Oh, and Rocky, stomp if you can hear me from the atrium. <laughs> okay, I want to live. Let's get this thing started. Thank you, Bonita. We will now share our presentation. It was made with some haste using an old version of PowerPoint. So please keep your negativity to yourself. So defensive. It's not working, Minerva. The screen has gone black! It's just sleeping. Tap any button. The title of our presentation is called How to Prevent Certain Doom. That's wonderful! I told you that was a good title. As you know, there is one evening when we may cross into the world of the living without issue. On Halloween. Yes, Pumpkin. Midnight on Halloween is the singular moment when the stars align and our town exists in harmony with the land of mortals. Only then may we cross the threshold to gather fright power for the coming year. It sounded great. But the portal unveiling must occur at midnight, even a moment sooner, and you expose two environments of different pressure. This creates a vacuum in which one world consumes the other, and that is exactly what happened. Oh, no. oh, it's terrible. I can't bear to look any longer. Yes, it's an unsettling reality. No, the clip art. It hurts my soul. Keep going, Roddy. You're doing great. Well, now I've lost my place. I believe you were explaining how nature abhors a vacuum. Yes, thank you, Albert. It must be filled like an open grave. That's why the town is disappearing. Okay, yes, yes, but how do we fix it? There is a way. 
In short, we must close the portal from the other side. The mirror of our portal exists on Earth, in a place called Grand Central Station. That was supposed to be an animation here, and some music as well. Did you check the animation options? A mystery for the ages. At any rate, one of us must enter the portal and cover the gateway on the other side. We'll need a hero. It might as well be Chip, clearly. Oh, now the music starts. Anyway, it's not that simple. Crossing the portal exaggerates every facet of your character. You may become something else altogether. Large personalities, even small vices, will turn you into an unspeakable, slavering, shambling horror. Nomination withdrawn. This is not a quest for glory. We must elect someone plain, simple, and sweet, who even transformed will blend in unnoticed so as to carry out our crucial errand. But whoever will it be? There is but one among us who can carry out such a plan. Only one who can save us all. You have got to be kidding. His name is Pumpkin. I knew it. Well, I got my shovel, and the hold is getting bigger, and we're fixing to have a great big old pile of bodies outside. Laws, this takes me back. Belfry, if I didn't know better, I'd swear you was in a good mood. Ain't you mad at all them feeble-minded ninnies what voted you out? Well now, Sheriff, I was, but my dark and dastardly plan for revenge has cheered me right up. As has the thought of that maniacal scone golem rampaging in the streets. Well, speaking of him, I reckon you ain't gonna tell me why we digging this hole in the floor of his old cell. You know how my back's been acting up lately? Well, we almost done, hoss. We're digging for my git kit. Git kit? My daddy always said to have a plan in place for when the fanny trail hits the fan. That's your git kit. It's for when you gotta get out of town in a hurry. Well, I bet your old daddy didn't say nothing about putting it under three feet of dang compacted sludge. It's got some highly sensitive items in it now, Sheriff. That's why I secreted it here, beneath the stone golem. Nobody in town was brave enough to go rooting around it. underneath his hey, jacket behind. Did you hear that? I sound like somebody down here jabbering. You probably just hearing the echoes from the confab pouring out your old dang mouth, Sheriff. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is. Everything seems to be in order. New identity packet, zap cards, earth money. I'm gonna get through that portal and make a soft landing back on the home world. Then it's a new life for me. What does this button do? It shut up that big old door! Whoa, cool man. You just shut that old skeleton dude in there with the old bat dude. Good, they get on my nerves. You little scams. Get back over here and press that button again, you hear? You better do what he say. Dang! Calm down, ribcage! Yeah, you are being, like, so dramatic. Now, girls and boy, your prankifying ain't making me laugh. This is serious. You wouldn't keep somebody in here like this. Uh, you mean like how you kept Marco in jail because he made fun of a crossing guard? Yeah, I stand by it, man. She was a dayglow bummer. Yeah, and I like how you keeping all these ugly old monsters in here just because you feel like it? Well, guess what? Maybe we feel like keeping you in here. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll keep you in there forever because we want to. Wrong found it, Sheriff. You about wing me there, boy. Oh, well, I guess you don't want me to try to shoot that lock open or nothing. Now, come on back here, young people. Let's see if we can come to an understanding. Listen up, team. Chatter on the spectral scanner says it's getting pretty grim out there. The perimeter of the town is shrinking as we lose buildings to the portal. The Fright School and Hobgoblin Stadium are both gone. 
Minerva, I'm scared. We've got to get Pumpkin through that portal, and we've got to keep everything we can out of it. We're running out of time. Yes, the time for action is now. Let us bury our fears and make haste. Uh, I don't want to make this all about me, but I'm freaking out a little bit. How long do we have? Long enough to execute a thoughtfully constructed, if somewhat hasty, plan, Bonita. Let us allow Mr. Rochester to guide us through each step. Oh, Albert, you're talking so slow. That was like three buildings that went into the portal while you said that. Hey, Mimi, do you have any secret library wine around here? I think Nita could use a glass. Coming right up. Oh, yes. Thank you. Right now, so that we may mitigate some of the destruction that is underway, we need to deploy a team dedicated to keeping the town under control. Rocky, can you hear me from the atrium? Yes. Rocky, your task is simple. You are to go to the giant ice cream cone in the center of town and hold on to it with all your might. Under no circumstances can it be sucked into the portal. How are those craggy lats of yours, friend? Solid. I'm on it. Next item. Chip, does your friend in Chan Man have a bone phone? Does he do textular transmissions? Sure he does. We text all the time. Ask him if he can roll his large metal self into that yawning pit near the town square. It's a major evacuation path. We need it to be clear. In Chan Man can. Now, how many members of the Spider's Weaving Circle are in attendance. Oh, the gang's all here, Rochester. We can't wait to help. Absolutely. Oh, that's no, that's right. Right. Yeah. No, we, I we need you right. spiders weaving webs over every building in the town center. Anchor them to the ground. Anchor them to one another. Just do anything you can to reinforce their strength. What, that? Oh, pish, that's easy peasy. We can spin webs in a jiffy, right, girls? Oh, I can spin a web in my sleep? Come on. Ah, uh, you got Give it. me a break. Mimi, get us some of that library wine. Let's go, ladies. Oh, I want some. Yeah, the next let's matter do it. at hand is outfitting Pumpkin for his perilous journey. We need an enchanted cloth suitable for covering the portal on Earth. Who can provide this? Pumpkin, you would honor me if you used my cape to cover the portal. It is an heirloom with a long history of concealing the wearer from all sight. Legend has it it came from a cursed clearance bolt of the blackest wool from the most haunted of Joanne Fabrics's. Ooh, say hello to Count Pumpkin. I'm putting this on now. Now, we are collecting objects for Pumpkin's knapsack, but he is going to need to know where to go on Earth after his task is complete. Pumpkin, I've got a box of the cereal that you like from the convenience store. It's got a maze on the back. If you follow the maze like a map, it will take you to a safe place for displaced residuals. It's a hipster wax museum in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Yes, New York City is crawling with displaced ghouls from one interdimensional mishap or another. No one will bat an eye at a man with a knapsack and a vampire cape. Pumpkin, you think you can follow the maze map? Pumpkin can do a cereal box maze. I just need the magic marker. Well, here you go, Pumpkin, from the children's library share bucket. Thank you. Remember, everyone, Pumpkin may be trapped on Earth until next Halloween. Maybe forever. Is there anything else he may need? A flashlight. In case it gets dark and scary over there. Did you hear that? He wants a flashlight in case it gets... In case it gets... I can't handle this. Nita, didn't that wine help you at all? You know I get emotional when I drink. Here you go, Pumpkin. I have long been an advocate for trick-or-treat safety, as you will note that my eye holes are cut large enough for me to see out of clearly. I always carry both flashlights and glow sticks to increase walking visibility. I will share these with you now. Thank you, Albert. Yes, that's very helpful, Albert. Now, our final set of assignments before plan execution. Minerva and I will accompany Pumpkin to the portal. Chip and Bonita, you are to run the news station and make an emergency broadcast plea to the entire town to hold fast to their surroundings. Albert and Mimi, you help corral the citizens into the library and keep them calm. Does everyone understand their roles in this nightmare? I'm on it. Mm-hmm. Loud and clear, yeah? Uh, that's right. I got Albert, it. you are the caretaker of Colonel Holla now. It's your call. Shall we all rise up to meet our fates? It's go time.
Okay, so we're supposed to get into the news station and do an emergency broadcast for the town, but I'm seeing a pretty big problem with that plan. I guess you mean the fact that the news station just went into the portal. Bingo! <laughs> hey, Chip, I guess you could say this story has a lot of moving pieces. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. It's even worse than our story about when they had to transport the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, you'd think they would have known there was going to be potholes. Okay, look, the news van is still anchored to the back of the Civic Center. I bet it still works. Okay, yeah, but how are we going to get over there? The portal is looking very sucky. This whole situation is sucky. It sucks. Big time. Oh, gracious me. Oh, oh my goodness, sir, are you okay? <laughs> Goliath! Okay. Here, boy, come here. Are you okay? Sir, I can't believe you're out walking the dog right now. It's incredibly dangerous to be near that portal. The whole town is disappearing. Well, try telling that to Goliath. Once he hears the word walkies, he simply won't let me alone until we go. You both need to get out of here. Go to the library. Caretaker Ghost is keeping citizens safe there. Oh, Goliath is a heavy-footed thing. He's fine. And I'd like to leave, but I have outrageous FOMO about a good catastrophe. Besides, you two are still here. What are you doing? We're trying to get to the news van so we can talk to the town via emergency broadcast, but it's too close to the portal. Yeah, we need a live mic and we need to throw the switch that activates the emergency broadcast frequency. Goliath, did you hear that? Fetch. <laughs> wow, I can't believe Goliath knows so many fetch commands. Those are very specific items. You know, on Earth, Goliath used to be a bouncer slash sound guy for a very popular discotheque. He can run your mixing board and make you sound just like Loria Gaynor. Go, Goliath! Good boy! Hey, here he comes with the mic! I can't believe he did it! Gosh, you two are very helpful! Thank you! Think nothing of it, my dear. Attention, citizens of Kirtle Holler! This is the very handsome Chip Clearly reporting live from the terrifying portal that threatens our town. Joining me is the photogenic, but when you see her in person, her head is shaped weird, Benita Von Wangenkamp. Benita, our listeners want to know, what's going on out there? Hello and welcome to our live coverage of the town portal crisis, which I have just decided will be called Unveiled, colon, the Portocalypse. The most important thing for Colonel Holler citizens to know right now is that newly elected caretaker Albert Ghost has risen to the occasion and is in the process of enacting a plan to close the portal. You'll remember that the portal, which thrums in a very evil yet enticing way, was opened when ousted candidate Belfry Batsinger spitefully and prematurely lifted the veil between Colonel Holler and Earth just a little under an hour ago. If you can hear this broadcast, Please seek shelter in a large building as far away from the portal as you can safely travel. If your home contains a creepy zombie bunker or an earthen redoubt from ancient times, please go there until the threat has passed. And if you do have to travel to safety, please travel in groups, hug the east-facing sides of buildings as you travel, and hold hands like you're on a school field trip. If you live near the center of town, please know that the Kirtle Hollow Library is serving as a disaster shelter in this hour of crisis. Uh, hold on, I'm being handed a piece of paper by my producer, Goliath. <laughs> Plug the sponsors? Really, Goliath? Now is not the time. Aww. Fine, Aww. I'll do it. Unveiled, colon, the portal Ocalypse is brought to you by Zapco Zap Rings. Get more for your zap and less of those zings when you wear a zap ring. Okay, that is a wrap. We've got to help Rochester and Minerva get Pumpkin to the portal. I don't think they realize how strong this unholy wind is. Come on, Goliath. And Mr. Goliath, let's help Pumpkin save the town. Sheriff, you assigned these rambunctious teens to all kinds of community service. What are the names of these villainous youths? Oh, shoot, I don't know. My job's jailing, not name learning. Your job's fixing to be sitting on your duff in a jail cell forever if you don't remember fast. Oh, it's Lacey. Facey, Facey. Damnation, what's her name? Casey. It's Casey, and the country troll one is Terry. I don't know the boy's name. It's Marco, you bonehead. We can hear y'all talking. Ain't no secrets in here. Oh, young Terry, so cantankerous and stompy and shouting. 
Don't you miss the girl you used to be on Earth? The girl who wasn't a booger-hued monster? If y'all let me out of this cell now, I can get you back there. Back on Earth. That's where I'm going. What? You can't, like, do that. Oh, yes I can, young Casey. It's a little loophole I learned about in all my years of Colonel Holler caretaking. If you catch a ride back to Earth any time except on Halloween, you get to stay there permanent-like. You won't be the mortal like you were, but you won't be a monster neither. You lying old chicken wing! We don't want nothing to do with you or your old man ideas! Yeah, I don't want to go back to Earth anyway. It's stupid. Plus my boyfriend's hair. Hey now, I never asked you to go steady. Marco flies solo. <laughs> Whatever. Sound like y'all just broke up, darling. Now just walk over there now, you hear? Press that button, open this cell up. What do you mean? This button? Oh, heck no! The other one! That's the dang button that opens all the other cells! Oops, my finger slipped. Yeah. It did not slip! I've seen you press it on purpose! Yeah, I just let everybody else out of jail. But you can stay here. Let's go, guys. Yeah! Put that in your pipe and smoke it, papaws! And guess what? Maybe some of us like being a booger-hued monster! We're out of here! Peace! Chip, do you see Rochester and Minerva? Yeah, they're over there by the Civic Center restrooms. Pumpkin must have had to make a pit stop. Uh, is that all the monsters from the jail cavorting and doing log rolls down the big hill? I believe it is. And is that Casey and Terry with them? Monster fun! Monster fun! Yep. Not a moment too soon. Look, Nita. Wow. There goes the jail into the portal. Good riddance to bad rubble. Remember when I was in jail, Nita? <sighs> yes, I do. It seems like so long ago. What a weird place this is. Rochester, Minerva, Pumpkin, we're coming to help. The pull from the portal is getting stronger. We have to get Pumpkin in there now without losing our grip on the town. Goliath, you stay here and anchor us. Everyone, grab onto Goliath's leash. Yes, with your free hand, grab someone's hand. Don't let go, even if that arm comes off. Mine probably will. Good, now are we all here? I've got Mr. Goliath's hand. And I've got the lovely Minerva's hand. I'm hanging on for dear life to you, Roddy. And I've got you, Bonita. I've got Pumpkin. That's right, you hold my hand. Oh, Pumpkin. Not now, Bonita. Everyone, walk. Step carefully. I'm being brave. You are. We're almost there, Pumpkin. And not a moment too soon. I can see Rocky is struggling to keep the ice cream cone aloft. Pumpkin, do you have the snacks I packed for you? Yes, but Pumpkin might want a little something for the road. Here, Pumpkin. I was saving these fruit snacks for later. I'm putting them in your backpack, okay? Get yeah, better. Pumpkin needs his vitamin C. This is it, Pumpkin. Are you ready to enter the portal and cover it with your cape? Pumpkin, ready. Pumpkin, you can do it, buddy. We're so proud of you, and and we know you're gonna do a great job. And what is? Say something else nice to Pumpkin. It helps me be brave. We love you, Pumpkin. Thank you. Do good. good kid. We love, love you, you Pumpkin. You lovable darling. Now everybody give me a kiss. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Say bye to Pumpkin. He did it. Pumpkin closed the portal.
So you're telling me that Batsinger and the sheriff got zooped out of town because they were inside the jail when it went through the portal? That's what Casey and Terry told me. I hardly know how to feel about the situation. It seems rather open-ended for my taste. That's all right, Albert. It just means that the story isn't over yet. I also feel bad that in the chaos, our citizens missed Halloween on Earth. It is the most wonderful time of the year, you know. Don't fret, Albert. We had the most terrifying Halloween Colonel Hala has ever had. And you certainly don't have to worry about our fright power until next year. Yeah. Evidently, the sight of pieces of the town flying in plain sight on Earth scared the bejeepers out of those people. Yes, the moment the portal closed, our town doubled in size. New buildings, new friends. It's ghastly. Yeah, Albert. The town is now swimming in fright power. And I can't think of a better person than you to be its steward. Three cheers for Albert! Hip hip! Shh! Sorry! I keep forgetting this is a library! Oh, I love how they spiffed it up. It's so good for really girls. Nice. Oh. oh, if it isn't our hero, Chip Clearly. Oh, hi, Chip, Chip, we heard you on the emergency broadcast. Oh. You're a regular Orson Welles. Oh, yes. Have you so taken cool. a walk around town yet? It's fabulous. We got a planet frightness yeah, now and a yeah. craft buoy. Uh -huh. Oh, and there's a charming intimate restaurant, Scarvalo, and a Shagora. I'm gonna get my colors done with the girls. Yeah. Bye. And I am going to visit the new dojo and practice my hand chopping through wooden stakes. Oh, Goliath and I will come with you. <laughs> that sounds to die for. <laughs> Hey, Albert, Mimi, we'll see you later. We're gonna head back to the boutique. Shh! You shh! Wow, they weren't kidding. This place looks amazing. Eh, except for all the earth garbage blowing around. Ugh, look at all those cigarette butts. Hey, Rocky, good job holding down the ice cream cone. Thank you. <laughs> Do you see the fright crystal? How brightly it gleams. It's beautiful. It really is. Hey, I have an idea. We should let Rocky run the old ice cream parlor. He can make cold stone cream on himself. That's a pretty good idea, Chip. Plus, we already know his favorite flavor. Rocky, Rocky Road! Road. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Well, the boutique's still in one piece. That's good. Just a broken window. I suppose it would have been too much to ask for the renewed fright power to have renovated this old hovel. I'll get the broom and dustpan. Yeah, for real. I mean, like, did anything else blow in here besides old earth gum and pistachio shells? Gross. There's this weird toy telephone. Remember rotary phones, Nita? If you are implying that I am old by asking me that question, the answer is no. I never used a rotary phone. Remember calling the operator and asking her if her refrigerator was running? No, I never did that. No. What should I do with this thing? Eh, put it on the counter. Somebody will probably buy it. Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, yes, can I help you? And why do you look so regular? And why do you look like a walk in red light district? Touche. I'm Barb. This is my husband, Marv. We're from Wisconsin. What's going on? Oh, whoa. I guess some people from Earth must have wandered through the portal. Yes, it would appear so. Come on, you two. Let's see if we can find something interesting for you to do. Where are we? You're in Cattle Hollow. <laughs> You know, I never thought I would say this, but I'm really glad we're home safe. <sighs> yeah, tomorrow we can just wake up and open the shop and everything will be back to normal. Okay, the weird Earth children's phone is ringing. That's pretty weird, right? Well, are you going to answer it or not? <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, Curdle Holler Boutique. This is Bonita. 
Hello, it's your best friend Pumpkin on the phone. What?